So let's bring this topic home quickly. So today's lesson, you've been specifically looking at colliding particles. As you've looked at these colliding particles, you've come to the understanding that sound energy is being transferred through the collision of the particles that we can't even see. So if it's air particles that are spread apart, those collisions are happening quickly, that sound is traveling fast, but if the particles are tightly together like in water or in the ground, while they might be still colliding or even with the ground, we've used the word vibrating, that sound energy is still being transferred through those particles. So last time that we did our lesson, you drew a diagram that showed what was happening. Today, you're gonna write about it. So hopefully, if you did struggle, you looked back at my notes, saw my diagram to help you out, and even if not, you've watched this video and you've been able to see it. To help you one more time, I'm gonna show you the simulation. You can again see it and think about what is happening for your explanation. So here we are again, and I have the highlighted particle. Now we're gonna watch what happens, but this time I'm gonna play a different instrument. I'm gonna play the flute. And again, perfect example of that particle colliding with other particles and transferring that energy. Remember, as you see this happening, you're noticing the particles are lining up, they're colliding, but then they spread back apart again in this repeated wave pattern. And that's where we talk about those sound waves. Now the vibration that you're noticing, you're seeing that vibration from the different instruments actually disturb and move those particles. And so as it disturbs and moves those air particles, those air particles, again, they're just colliding and they're creating that wave, that sound wave. But that particle is not actually traveling very far. It's basically staying in around the same spot. So one more time with the piano. Excellent.